This is a uh, left shoulder, patient's in the lateral position. Looking up, you can see it's quite inflamed, possibly has a component of capsulitis. A little bit of chondromalacia on the head and the glenoid. And then uh, as we look inferiorly, we'll see the uh, infraspinatus has a bit of an undersurface tear. And then more superiorly, we'll look up to our supraspinatus tear. And these minimally displaced tears sometimes can be hard to spot from the bursa, so it's always best to mark these so you can see what it looks like on the bursal side. And we remove the marker here, and the first step is to debride enough bursa so you can see this tear, and then to debride any devitalized portions of the tendon with a shaver, just so we know what's viable. I think stem cells are very important for healing, and so I do debride the tuberosity with a burr just a little bit to a bleeding cortical surface just until I get some cells to start to coming out of that tuberosity, which is where most of the healing occurs. Once we're debrided, we'll use a uh, standard lateral paracromial uh, percutaneous portal for our single anchor for a single row. That works well for single row since the anchor is not fully medialized. And uh, needle localization is always best. And just follow the needle in with your dilator. And depending on the hardness of the bone, that's how far you'll insert your dilator. In this case, the bone's pretty hard, so we went about three quarters of the way in. And then we'll follow this with this uh, peak anchor. And uh, this anchor has excellent bite on the tuberosity with its double thread uh, configuration. And once the anchor's in, this is uh, pretty much a standard uh, repair. We'll use a uh, grasping, penetrating device to put the sutures through the cuff. And we'll put one through more anteriorly and retrieve it uh, out the paracromial portal. And here's our second suture that's been placed. Here's the completed repair viewed uh, from the direct lateral portal with the probe coming from posterior. You can see we have uh, dented down the, the tendon, but we haven't crushed it. So you can still see vascularity in it. And that's what we're looking for in a single row repair.